Hello everyone, Kirith here and welcome to another GT Sport video and today we're going to do something very important for the GT Sport community. We're going to reveal the dark and ugly side to PG Motorsport and the Pure Gameplay Motorsport YouTube channel. Because this guy, and this story needs to be told, is the most despicable, disrespectful, con artist driver in Gran Turismo Sport. And if you're a fan of Pure Gameplay Motorsport, what you're about to see may shock you. But I really feel like, for the good of the community, this needs to be told. And I've made a couple of videos on PG Motorsport before, when he was doing this to other people in the community, and I stood up for them. And then in my last FIA round, PG Motorsport came for me, so it's kind of personal now. So here's what's going on. It's pretty shocking. PG Motorsport is another GT Sport YouTuber. He has a YouTube channel called Pure Gameplay Motorsport. On that channel, he uploads a lot of Gran Turismo Sport racing videos. And in those videos, he nearly always wins or has great results come from the back and stuff like that. Absolutely great, superb, love that. Nothing wrong with that. How does he have so many videos of himself winning races in Gran Turismo Sport? This is where it gets really ugly. PG Motorsport, when his driver rating gets too high, he will deliberately go into a race, perversely he does this in FIA, which is an eSports championship, and he will deliberately ram other drivers off the road, he will wreck people, he will try and put people in the sand solely to get penalty points, because those penalty points will massively lower his driver rating to the lowest lobbies in the game, the slowest lobbies in the game, where he can win races again and upload them to his YouTube channel. Now, by winning those races, his driver rating will increase, and when his driver rating gets too high for him to win again, the cycle repeats and he'll go into a race and he'll wreck people. And he does this in FIA. Now, if you're new to Grand Turismo Sport and wondering why this is such a big deal, FIA is an esports championship open to everyone. It's the best thing about GT Sport, really. Anyone can enter. The top drivers in the world go to televised competitions in New York, Monaco, Nürburgring, London. But anyone can enter. It's open to everyone. It's, it's a beautiful thing. And if you're a hard-working, honest person, you've got a wife, you've got kids, you've got obligations, the reality is you don't get as much time to play this game as PG Motorsport, who's playing it every day. So you sit down at 3 o'clock on a Saturday, you've made the time for yourself, it's your time, you've got one hour, you've got one race, You've been looking forward to it all week. You should expect great racing. And PG Motorsport does not care about you. He's laughing at you, he's insulting you, he's disrespecting you. Because he's just going to use and abuse you to get penalty points for himself. And you don't have another chance. Because you've only got one slot. You've got other stuff to do in that day. That's your weekend gone in terms of duty sport. PG Motorsport will carry on in the next race and win it in a lower lobby. You're just a pawn in this game. So I think that's absolutely disgusting behaviour. I want you in the comments to let me know what would you do about PG Motorsport? What would you do about PG Motorsport? I really want to hear from you. Because here's what I think we should do and I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go onto PG Motorsport's videos when he uploads, G Sport videos, and I'm going to let people know in the comments that this guy is a dirty driver, and I'm going to upvote other people saying the same thing. People are doing it already, by the way. This is already a movement. And if you're part of this movement, let me know. I'm also going to share this video. I've made a couple of videos on PG Motorsport when he was taking out other people, and like I said, I stood up for them. Stood up for the community. I'm going to share this video as well, because these videos actually rank quite highly for the search term PG Motorsport on YouTube. So again, when people search PG Motorsport, they'll see this is a reality of what PG Motorsport does. This is the other side. And I'm also going to start sharing the tag, hashtag ban PGM, which I've seen on liveries and cars, I've seen people sharing in lobbies. There's a movement going on here, and I'm supporting it. Because this guy is against the average, hard-working, honest GT Sport driver. He's against that person. This guy doesn't care about that. All he cares about is getting the wins for his YouTube channel. 
and I think it's absolutely disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. So let me know in the comments, what would you do about PG Motorsport? We need to get this guy banned. We need to get this guy banned. Well, I'm going to play some footage now from the live stream when I, I came across PG Motorsport. Really classy, really, really classy PG Metasport. Sport. I don't I don't even know like I think we just got to talk about this something needs to happen to PG Motorsport like something needs to happen in terms of a ban or something like that I, I just in my view it's just completely unacceptable we're gonna take it around now park it in the pits we'll see far behind us well you need to save the race made a video on PG I've made a video about PG Motorsport before it, you know and you know, the videos are very popular actually. Some of the most popular videos I do on this channel. But he's going to go around now just like terrorising everyone else. It's just an absolute joke. Deesh. Pull down his absolute helmet. I'm sorry for everyone watching, but now we're going to have to wait more for the next race and everything. You know, so he's kind of, he's wasting your time, he's wasting my time. Strider, I can't see the point of PG punting you off. What he's trying to do, I, he might be trying to get SR down penalties and trying to wreck his SR. I, I mean, I guess I will make another video. But, you know, like I've said before, they're not really the videos that I want to make on this channel. Yeah, so, sorry Baz, it's just like, it's, it pisses me off a bit because, you know, we've all, all of you watching now and me here, we're, we're involved in this race. We want a good race, we've got, you know, we've got a bit of a story going because of what happened on Wednesday and, you know, we progressed a lot on Wednesday and we had an important moment at the end. And like, it's just disrespecting people's time. And the one thing I'm very, always think so much about is people's time and your time watching and also my time and trying to maximise entertainment and value for people's time. So that's why I pissed my phone. Ben McGee, PG is damaging the game. There'll be people who have stopped playing because of him. We can quit Limby. We can ask Triple D to, to save and share the replay. It's Triple D's in this race. It's an absolute piss take. Absolute piss take. So, this is, so, this is a um, PG Motorsports DR and SR graph. So you can see his, his trend when he's driving, his trend, you can't see my mouse, his trend is to go up and then he gets himself DR resets. And what it means is when he's going up, he wins all of his races because he's in lower DR lobbies and then when he gets too high he gets a reset so you can see where we are now he's decided now to get a reset and we happen to be in that race is what's happened it's it's a bit of a joke well because i think you're correct about him lowering his sr to the race in their lobbies yeah it's, that's the theory that i put forward in my last video but what i also said if you want to do that if i if i want look i'm i make videos on gt sport it probably be better if I was winning races possibly I don't know from like from a certain perspective so let's say it was I wanted to win more race on GT Sport what I would do is I would say to someone like Issa or Baz I would say can we go to a daily race A 
And do you mind just, do you mind if I just punt you off the back of the track in last place? Yeah, so don't ruin anyone else's race, anyone else's race, just one race with a friend. Get the SR downs, but to do it in, to do it in FIA to random people, it's just really, I think really disrespectful. T70 Moose. PG Motorsport is his own YouTube channel, but you've never seen him drive like this. Oh, I don't understand these people. If you have the talent and skill to get A plus, why race a bad etiquette? I, I get, I understand the logic of having a YouTube channel and wanting to win more races and therefore um, lowering your DR. Like, I, I get that. That makes perfect sense to me. As in, the bit that makes perfect sense is I want to race on YouTube and win my races. That makes sense. And to do that, you need to lower your DR. Okay, how do you do that? I'm sure there are ways of doing it without ruining other people's races. An ignomious exit there. It'll enter the race. But it's what it is. We go again in the, in the next one. Oh, man. Let's see if we can write to our friend PG. I suspect he'll have bolted. Any pencils out? Should we say see him on YouTube? Hey Cal, hope you well. Dick. <clears throat> I'm going to be making a video now. <laughs> Feel like it's fair game. So you can see his SR has gone down to A. So he's. Um, I don't know if that's a reset actually, but it'll be in a lower SR band, so we'll win the next F next race. If you're watching PG, nice to see you. We should try and report him anyway, just to do a good deed. Hey Steve, happy well. Twenty minutes next race. What do you mean? We're all gonna get timed out of this lobby. People called it at the beginning. People in chat were saying, "Yeah, this is gonna be a dirty lobby." I like that actually. This is this is our new hashtag, I think. Right, <clears throat> enough of that faffing about. So let's go again. The best we could have got was a P3. We're going to end up with a P4. It is going to be huge points. Thank you so much for your support, everyone. We've had to learn the car. We've had to learn the nuances of the track in this car. Ooh. There is a check of flag. P4 in this lobby. P4 in this lobby. Penalties, it, oh, things are changing on the line there. Look, it's very, very close to P9. Very, very close. Thanks everyone.
And say after the first race, I'd be so mad and in the stream. That's not how we roll on this channel, though. That's not how we roll. We roll like this. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, who called a P3 or 4? Like, beginning of the race. Green Gang called 4th at the beginning. Beginning, yes. Thank you so much, everyone. 256 points! From P19 on the car, 256 points. Absolutely smashed it. We had no right to be in this lobby, really. <laughs> this is the hardest lobby we've done all day. And I, I don't think I've really put a foot wrong from like what I know about the car. Like from That's as good as I could have driven right now, I think. And uh, yeah, working together with the BMW. What happened with our with our with our boy? What happened with our boy um Louis? Oh Louis all the way down here. Possible rage crit. Thanks, Stephen. Thanks, Bodsworth. Uncle Tashi, Josh Hill, Boris Love, Green Gant, Jim, Tyson, Al, Dimichacho, Steve Baker, Uncle Tashi, Julian, Ian, Gary, Steve, Ari, Anzo, Baz. Thanks, everyone. Really appreciate it. Henry as well. Thank you so much. I'm glad we kept going. I'm glad we kept going. <laughs> we could have ended it after PG Motorsport ended us. But he didn't end us. 256 points. That is my highest ever points in FIA. That's my highest ever. I kind of, I can't wait. Let's see what the other combos are going to be. What are we going to do next in FIA? 